so I have Kiara in a laundry basket because she likes to be out and about but she's too tiny to leave on the table because I fear she'll fall off and I can't hold her 24 hours a day although I would love to so I put her in a little laundry basket so that she could see out and see what's going on and then of course the dogs can check her out there's my husky and then I have a uh, just a piece of um, that foam board on top with a couple of uh, boxes just to hold it on just in case she decides to try to push it off so let's see if we can get some uh, video in here Kiara She's got some toys in there. Oh, look at you. You found the big hole, huh? Yes, you did. Yara. She likes to bite on it. She is a biter, but she likes to bite on it. Probably helps with the gums and the teething. And we got some toys in there. Let's see. Can't really see them too good. There's Kiara. Oh, she's that pretty girl. She's a good monkey. Just a little baby mobile that I put in there. And a couple of the little things on there. Rattle. She likes that. Kiara. Little Kiki. Little Kiki. Got your hand out, didn't you? Yeah. And then we've got uh, my Great Dane, who is my baby, sitting right down here on the floor because she's not sure about this whole monkey business. And then we've got my Husky right here on the floor beside me as well, who really, really wants to get to know the monkey, but uh, he likes to uh, play rough. He bites when he plays. It's not a real bite, but uh, I still fear that uh, it might end up hurting her. Okay. probably be about a couple of months before I can actually leave her to herself, not completely by herself, but uh, to roam around outside of the laundry basket. She is just now four weeks old and uh, really has no concept of danger yet. And when I let her play on the table, when I'm right here, she gets awfully close to the edge. And uh, I'm not comfortable with that. So, um... Okay, well, we'll video some more later. Bye.